वेलकम ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डी सी चौहान आई विल गिव यू सेवरल कंसेप्ट एंड न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन इन द केस ऑफ फिजिक्स वेन एवर स्टूडेंट यूज टू स्टडी फिजिक्स ही फेस सेवरल प्रॉब्लम्स बिकॉज फिजिक्स कंटेन कंसेप्ट as well as numericals as well as theoretical part if someone is very strong about basics then he need not to face any problem regarding to physics let us discuss about doppler's effect of sound it is crucial part of physics doppler's effect it was discovered by john christian doppler in the case of doppler effect whenever there is relative motion between sound source and observer then there will be change in frequencies observed this frequency can be increased can be decreased depending upon motion of both object as well as source you can say it in other way like observer or source doppler effect can be often observed in daily life when someone is standing nearby a railway platform and train is approaching towards the platform then person observe that the frequency of sound appear to be increasing and whenever the train is moving away then the person observe that the frequency of sound appear to be decreasing it means it is not such that frequency is actually increasing it appear to be so this is known as apparent change whenever we discuss about apparent change then we have to study about three basic things first what is actual frequency second what is speed of observer third what is speed of source whenever sound source and observer either both of them are in motion either one of them in motion then there will be apparent change in frequency but if no one is moving then there is no change in frequency but in the case of motion of medium there will be change in frequency student let us discuss when the observer is stationary and source is in motion let there is a source which is sound source s it is moving it is moving toward a stationary observer with speed vs the observer is o you can see it is stationary we are not marking for the motion sign then it is sub, it is supposed to be stationary in this case when it is moving towards then the observer will catch extra waves which are coming towards due to the motion of sound source in this case the apparent frequency will be n dash is equal to v upon v minus vs into n here v stand for speed of sound speed of sound that is well known factor that speed of sound is in fact 332 meter per second in air which is supposed to be constant sound source is moving towards that's why the denominator vs is taken negative the resultant is found to be n s which is greater than n as denominator is less it's very simple n s is greater than n when n s is greater than n means frequency is increasing this is about when source is moving toward observer it is often observed when a car is moving towards a stationary observer towards a stationary person that's why it is very important 
whenever we solve numerical problems like one car is moving with certain speed 20 meter per second and the frequency of horn blown by it is 400 hertz then what will be the apparent frequency heard apparent frequency heard will be n dash is equal to v upon v minus vs into n v that is well known 332 332 minus vs that is also known to us and that is speed of sound source that is 20 into multiplied by 400 then you have the apparent frequency which is more than 400 which can be obtained by calculation now we discuss about when the observer is stationary but sound source is moving away let us discuss about that whenever sound source is moving away like a car which is blowing horn but it is moving away from the source what happened let us see when sound source is moving away then the less number of waves are caught by the observer in earlier case the more number of waves were caught in this case the apparent frequency n double dash and that will be v upon v plus vs into n here vs is again the speed of source we can solve the numerical problem based on this by putting the values of vs and that is given according to the requirement according to question speed of sound that will be fixed that is 332 you can take but if there is medium given then you have to change that speed of sound as you know speed of sound is more in denser medium less in rarer medium whenever sound is traveling in water or any solid then speed of sound will be more here again we see that n double dash is less than n it means frequency going to be decreased whenever source is moving away now the thing is if source is moving but it is passing through the observer then we will hear or listen few beats and that will be difference of two frequencies and beat frequency whenever the source passes observer will be delta n is equal to n dash minus n double dash n dash earlier values we know v upon v minus vs into n minus v upon v plus vs into n by solving this you will get the result 2 v s into n upon v that will be change in frequencies and this is in fact number of beats or beat frequency you can say this is about when source is in motion now we discuss about when observer is in motion and source is at rest let us see now we will discuss about the source which is s is kept at rest and observer which is moving observer is moving towards the stationary source that is with the speed v o again the extra waves are captured by source then the towards source when observer is moving it will get extra frequencies conceptually the frequency should be increased let us see its formula will be n dash is equal to v plus v o upon v into n n is actual frequency n dash is apparent frequency here the numerator shows extra values of velocities and which will give n dash greater than n that means frequency is increasing now if observer is moving away the source then how he will listen the sound let us see its apparent frequency and double dash will be v minus vs 
upon v into n. It is seen that in this case, the frequencies which is going to be decreased, it is because of the lack of waves captured by observer when source is stationary and double dash will be less than n. In both the cases, if sound source is moving or if observer is moving, then we have beats. Here we will also have the beats and that number of beats will be delta n is equal to n dash minus n double dash. We shall put the values of both. Here v plus vo upon v into n minus v minus vo upon v into n. The result will be very much similar to the earlier one instead of the speed of sound here will be speed of observer 2 v o n upon v that is also the beat frequency or number of beats heard. This is about when the observer and sound source are in motion. Now we shall discuss about when both are in motion, like both are in motion, source, observer, source is moving towards, observer is also moving towards, it means both are moving towards each other. Then we use the concept of earlier apparent frequencies, the result will give n dash is equal to v plus v. Why we have taken v plus v? Because so observer is moving towards v minus vs in denominator. Why? Because source is moving towards, then we will have apparent frequency. This formula will infer that the frequency is increasing and increasing abruptly. Now, we shall discuss when both are moving away from each other. This is source, this is observer. The, it is moving with Vs, it is moving with Vo. The earlier one and this one, which are exactly opposite, then its formula will be in the same way, V minus Vo upon V plus Vs into N. This can be achieved by taking one stationary for a moment and by taking other stationary for the next moment. The result will be just like that. But if source is following observer, means observer is ahead to that of source, then what happened? I have told you earlier that whenever you will find this value, then you have to take one stationary. And in this case, n dash will be, since observer is moving away, so negative sign will be taken v o and since source is moving towards so negative sign for source is taken in denominator this will be the result we can take the next concept when observer follows source that is this observer this is source source is ahead to that of observer then n dash will be v plus v o upon v plus v s into n. The change in this frequency depends upon whether the velocity of the sound source or the velocity of the observer. Now we shall discuss when medium between observer and source is in motion. Source, observer, these are supposed to be motion, in motion. Source can be with speed Vs, observer can be with speed Vo, it can be toward, it can be away, depending upon the condition, but the medium between them, that is in motion, medium often we use air, air is in motion, let its speed is supposed to be W. If the observer is moving towards or source is moving towards or away, then the result will give the same observations as we have studied earlier. But when medium is moving, 
we have to take two things in mind one is if medium is along the speed of sound take positive sign for speed of medium if medium is moving away from the speed of sound take negative sign then the result will be n s is equal to v plus minus v o plus minus w upon v plus minus v s plus minus w into n this is the overall result can be used in any case it is very useful doppler effect is very useful in several competitive exams in iit j in the examination of neat in the examinations of navy in the examination of air force in the examination of second grade paper in the examination of lab student paper these are very useful often the questions are asked on this now what are the conditions when doppler effect fails the first condition is the speed of observer or source must be less than speed of sound otherwise doppler effect will not take place and the other one is if both observer and sound sound source and medium are at rest then in this case the doppler effect will not take place the apparent frequency will not change we can take an example we can take the example of a circular motion if we take a circle we take its center at center we are having a sound source and on the circumference of circle we are having an observer if observer is moving on the circumference then we observe that there is no apparent change observed by the observer in the case of circular motion again if sound source is moving on the circumference and observer is at center again there is no change in apparent frequency what is the basic reason behind that because the separation between sound source and observer is constant that's why there will be no change at all this is all about the doppler effect of sound